Hi, are you ready to paint today? I am. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Wilson Bickford and I'm going to show you uh, a nice little landscape. I'm going to show you that painting doesn't have to be difficult. Um, I've avoided putting some long videos on YouTube. I've usually just done the little clips, the little short lessons of here and there that target specific problem areas that people might have. I'm actually going to do a little painting today. It's going to run two segments. So this will be part one. So don't forget to check back into part two and see how this comes out. And you'll find more information about me on my website, wilsonbickford.com. And join me on Facebook while you're at it. I've got a lot of friends on Facebook and I can always use some more. Um, I've got a little stretch canvas here. This is a gallery wrap, but obviously for today's lesson, I'm not going to bother painting the edges. But uh, I've got some primary colors here. I've got cadmium yellow pale, cadmium red deep hue, ultramarine blue, Van Dyke Brown and Titanium White. Basically the primaries and what I call a duller, something to dull the colors with and gray them. On my palette here too, I've also squirted out some white base medium, which is Wilson Bickford Flash Fast Flow White Medium. I've got a squirt bottle of it here. This is a test bottle of my upcoming uh, product line that'll be coming out. And I squirted some of that on the palette. It'll look different in the final packaging. I'm using my own tools here today. Uh, this is a, my two inch scenery brush with the beveled edge. And I'm gonna put some uh, white paint on this canvas. This is just a base coat which will allow us to blend our colors right on the canvas. I'm thinking today of doing a little sunset scene. Now I'm sure this will be uh, something that many of you have seen before, but I'm kind of targeting the beginning painters here. This is a brand new brush, so it's shedding, so you'll see me just knocking the hairs off that. New brushes always shed. So I just need a thin coat scrubbed into the canvas, just enough to lubricate that and be able to blend my edges. I'm going to put uh, a few colors on here and just come up with a nice little sunset scene. I'm going to start with the yellow and I'm going to take my smaller one inch scenery brush. I'm going to take some cadmium yellow pale. And I need to determine a horizon line in here so while I'm at it I'm going to take just a little dusting of that yellow and I'll draw myself a little indication of a horizon line. I can move that, it's just a guideline at this point. And I'm going to have a low sun in this painting. So I'm actually going to paint around a larger area and leave some white there for the brightness of the sun. Now see, I'm envisioning this in my mind, and a lot of you are probably watching this and not knowing where this is going to go, but you'll see together, I get this laid out, you'll see it'll fall together pretty quickly so you understand it better. But painting is about uh, having an idea in your head and putting it on canvas. So. Now that's going to look kind of harsh for a while. I'm going to come back and tweak that. On either side of that, I'm going to have some water down here, so I'm going to put yellow on either side of that white, which this will represent the sun. And this is the yellow in the water that's reflected from the sky. The white will be some of the reflection from the sun in the water. You can kind of see how that's leaning already, where we're going with this. I'm going to take a little bit of the cadmium red into the yellow and achieve something of a reddish, orangey color. For a sunset, a lot of different colors will work, so I'm not too uh, choosy at this point what co actual color I, I'm getting. I'm just showing you the technique. If you want it a little more intense, you could use a little more red. Totally up to you. I'm just going to kind of dust this in. If that's above, it will be below. So I'm going to put this into the water as well. And I'm going to want to blend this over into the edges of the yellow. So you'll probably find that it's going to be a little bit easier if you stop and wipe your brush off. If you have paint on your brush, you're painting. If you don't have paint on your brush, you're blending. It's that simple. I tell my students all the time, if you want to blend, wipe your brush off. Get rid of the extra paint. And you can blend what's on the canvas instead of just laying more paint down. I'm just still taking some of these bristles off. Like I said, these are all brand new brushes, so they're shedding. 
brand new out of the package, all new brushes shed. So I'm just going to soften that out a little bit. I'll tell you what, I want to go a little more intense than that, so I'm just going to grab a little more red down here, a couple spots, and I'll put a little bit more in the water area as well. Now I'm just laying color on here. We need to blend this, so it's going to look rather harsh here for a minute. And maybe up in that top sky, I'm going to switch back to my larger brush that I used for the white. I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue. Sometimes I like to put a cool color in my sunsets, not just all of the, the warm reds and the yellows. Sometimes that little bit of blue is kind of a relief. It gives the eye something different to take in. And I'll go back to my red and just kind of pull the red over that. See, I, I'm a, trying to achieve a soft edge so it looks kind of hazy like a cloud where it's overlapping. If I wanted, I could actually put a little bit of this blue reflected into the sky as well. As long as you get the colors in your of the sky in your water, believe it or not, it really doesn't matter as much where you put them. A lot of people say, why do you only put it here? At the top side, it would be down here if it was a mirror image, but I've got plans of putting some land down here, so I don't really need it down there. But that'll kind of tie everything together. And this all still needs to be blended. It looks pretty rough, I realize. I'm going to take my fan brush. I want to soften the perimeter of this white area. Just soften it down a little bit and soften the edge of this yellow against the white. That's going to represent the glare in the sky and in the water. And I'll come back with some of these reddish colors that I had previously. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit with some white. Not much paint on the fan brush. This is a number three medium fan brush. And I can put a few little stringer clouds through here. Okay, that's going to look more dramatic once I put some land in front of it. Okay, this, I'm going to blend this out and it'll start taking us up to the halfway point. Don't forget to come back and check this out, check out how this ends up. I've wiped off my uh, blue brush, you could actually just clean a brush. I'm not going to do it on air here because it takes too much time, but it'll give you the idea. Let's see if I just lightly kind of soften that all together. We'll come back and finish this up. I still have a minute or so to go, I believe, so I'm going to start putting a little bit of the horizon in there. Since this is going to be a silhouette, I want to use a darker tone. I'm going to use mostly Van Dyke Brown and a little bit of white. I want it to be silhouette so we can afford to have it quite dark. And I'll establish where my horizon is going to intersect across there. And we'll build on top of that when we come back. So don't, be, don't forget to tune back in for part number two and see how this turns out.